Hello and welcome to your tutorial on how to install Python 3 on Windows. Uh, today that's going to be our ma main focus of installing Python 3 on Windows. So um, make sure you follow along closely because uh, some issues can arise with Windows installation on Python, mainly with the paths. If you're not uh, familiar with paths, we'll uh, cover that and make sure everything looks proper on your computer. First thing I want to do is bring up the command prompt and that's where we can access the Python interpreter and just check to see if Python is already installed on your computer. So to do that we go to the start menu, click on the start menu, go down to the search bar and type command. That brings up your command prompt. If you hit enter after you type cmd it will bring up command prompt. Now we want to go ahead and do check it real quick. So we go Python and hit enter. And Python's not recognized as an internal external command on this operable program or bash file. So that means there's no Python on this computer. Alright, cool. So now we gotta install it. So to install it we go to python.org, which is Python program and language's main website. And we're gonna go and hover over downloads. Um, actually, if this is the first time you're visiting this website, uh, after you download it and you got some free time, go ahead and check it out. They have so much information on this website, you you'd be overwhelmed. But it's also pretty cool to see what you can do with Python and how Python works. It's they got great information on here. But anyway, um, let's go to hover over downloads, and we go to. Python 3.4.2. Yours might be a little different, like 3.4.3 .3 or something different. As long as it's Python 3, you're good to go. Click on Python 3.4.2, and it's going to start to download. If you got Google Chrome, it's going to download right in the left hand corner. Um, if you're using another browser, you're probably going to have to open up another way. Uh, for me, I can just go ahead and click on the Python down here on Google Chrome. It's going to ask me, security warning, do you want to run this? Yes, I do. I trust Python. So it's going to go ahead and run it. And here it says, select whether you want to install Python 3.4.2 for all users on the computer. Yeah, sure, why not? I'd like my wife to be able to access Python, even though she wouldn't know what she was doing. All right. Um, and then we're going to keep the destination directory. If you mess, If you're not familiar with what you're doing don't mess with this because uh, you may have a really hard time finding Python after you install it so hit next um, customize Python yes we want to do this we want to add Python executables to the path to do that we click on it and we go down to entire feature will be installed on the local hard drive yes that's what I want to do um, that the path is a way for Python when you put a command in, into the command prompt that's how Python knows where to look for the word Python. So hit next. And this is going to start the download. And it takes a couple minutes, but I'm just waiting here. There we go. Uh, do you do you want to allow the following program to install software on your computer? Yes, I do. Like I said, I trust Python. So while that's installing, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. It takes about two minutes to install. Alright, Python's done installing on my Windows machine, and we're going to go ahead and um, hit finish. Now we want to check to make sure Python installed properly. So back down to your start button, in the search type cmd to bring up command and hit enter, bring up command, and we're going to type Python. And hit, uh, I scrolled down, I wasn't sure what happened there, hit enter. And now we see Python 3.4.2 and some other information here about when Python was updated and stuff. Uh, you got to type help. If you type help with parentheses, you can get into the help area. We'll go over that more in our next tutorial. Copyright, same thing. Credits, licensing information, all oh, great. This is where we're going to practice a lot of our code when we're learning Python. Now, if you did not get this window here, or the Python interpreter, which this is called. If you did not get that, let's take a look at how to fix that. My first suggestion would be to restart your computer and try these steps again to access the Python interpreter. If that doesn't work, we got to go to something called the path. 
So we're going to go down to our start menu and type path, press enter, and it brings up our path. And we're going to go to, we scroll down here to see path, click on path, and for some reason it's not letting me edit it. So hold on, let me do this again. Let's go ahead and do path, edit system of, up here, edit system environment variables, click on that. Environment variables down at the bottom here, click on that. Now let's see if this worked for me. It wasn't giving me the option to edit, there we go. Now I click on edit, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the front because that's where Python puts its path. And we're going to see um, here, this is the first path, which is in your hard drive, forward slash Python 3.4, look for an executable. So let's go ahead and bring up that so you can see a graphic of how that works. Um, in my hard drive, here's Python uh, 3.4, and this is our uh, main, main part of our hard drive here. So we're going to open that up, and we're looking... And we told, Py uh, told Windows to look, when we type Python in, we want to look for Python 3, 4, and an executable in that folder. So it goes in that folder and looks for an executable. Right here is the executable for Python 3, 4. All right, cool. It found that. So if you don't have this in your path, make sure you type it exactly how it is here. Um, and then we got a semicolon behind it, so that splits it, saying this is the only command right here. The next one is... Um, go to our hard drive, Python 3.4, and then scripts. Well, in the scripts section, this is where we, it gives us the ability to install other Python packages. So, we open up scripts, and you'll see easy install, then pip. In our tutorials, we're going to use pip, so we want to make sure scripts is able to find pip. So, when you type, you type in um, Python 3.4 scripts, that's where Python's going to come in here and look for the scripts. So, for example, if I go back to my terminal here, when I let me exit out of here, when I type in Python, all right, Python's going to go to um, Python's going to look in path, or I'm sorry, Windows is going to look in pass for Python. So when I hit enter. What it's doing is it's going here and it's going, all right, let me look in Python 3.4 for a Python executable. And when we do that, we got the Python executable here and that runs the interpreter. Now, same if I put in Python scripts, if I put, oops, exit, that gets me out of it and type pip. And I typed pip in, which I remember I said it's in our scripts. It brings up pip. And here's pip's help section telling you how to use it. Because I all I did was type pip. There's other commands you got to type along with it for pip to do something. But pip is a package installer for Python. So, with that being said, we found both of them. So, go ahead and try Python. If you get the interpreter, great. Now... Go ahead and try pip because we're going to be using pip. If you get this help section here with the telling you you need more commands, awesome. That means you found both of them. Hope you understand what's going on here. And then the one last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial, and then we'll be done before we jump into other stuff. Oops. Sorry about that. Pause, pause the video. I guess there is a button to pause the video. Um, I'm not really a Windows guy, so I'm not sure what I just did there. But anyway, um, I want to bring up our command prompt one more time. We're going to go into the Python interpreter one more time. So what you do is type Python. Hit enter. All right, great. We're in the Python interpreter. Let's try it out. Let's do 3 plus 3 should equal 6. Ah, oh, good. I did my math. All right, th there's two ways to get out of the interpreter. If you keep hitting enter, it's not going to do, it, do anything for you. So... In Windows, you either type exit with parentheses and get out that way, and then I'll go right back in and show you the other way, or you type quit with parentheses, hit enter, it gets you out that way. Um, just want to show you how to exit out of it because you guys might be like, oh, cool, he showed me how to install it and get into the interpreter, and now I don't know how to get out. 
exit and quit will get you out. A um, couple things I want to point out as we move on this tutorial. I will be teaching the tutorials on a Mac operating system. So for you Windows guys, I want you to, when I say Python 3 in your terminal, well first off, let's say if I use the word terminal, think command prompt. So Windows guys, when I say terminal, you think command prompt. Uh, also, when I say type in Python 3 in your terminal, you guys type in Python in your command prompt. There's no 3 at the end of that because you only have one installed on your computer. Um, also, if I say hit control D to exit your interpreter, that will not work on Windows. So you guys type exit or quit. Um, other than that, I don't think there's many other differences. If you guys do have any issues, let us know via the comments on YouTube or on our website. Uh, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, I hope this tutorial is useful, and we'll see you in the next one, which uh, should be out today also. See you.